My book is in another section of the library. Maybe you'll find something interesting in here meanwhile. Simon, are you alright? Yes, but I can't get out. Please look around and see if you can find a way to get me out of here. August 1835. Today Justine invited me to the library. She seemed happy and excited. I was just as happy. I'm glad she wants to see me again. We haven't done anything for months. Even though we aren't officially together, I feel that there is something between us. Anyway, she showed me my room where I am right now. It's dark outside, even though it's summer. I can't wait to see what tomorrow will bring. I should get some sleep. Adam. 6th of August 1835. Today Justine came into my room quite early. She says she wants me to come further into the library. She seems kind of excited about something she wants to show me. I wonder what it is. I didn't even know the library was that big. She told me to dress up. Then she pulled a lever next to the bed. It sounded like something moved at the entrance of the library. When I finished my diary, we are heading further into the library, she said. I can't wait. Adam.
August 1835. Today Justine surprised me. She's not just a visitor at the library. She owns it. She owns the whole castle we're in. Justine showed me her office in the quarters. She told me that every time she walks out of the office, she locks the door and hides the key. I'm amazed nobody have broken into her office. That beautiful lady hides the key above the office door. Silly girl. At dinner time, she called me into the dining room where she had put the nicest table I've ever seen. With candles on the floor and amazing food, we enjoyed the most romantic dinner. After the dinner, I complimented her cooking talent and she leaned over and kissed me. I could write a book about this, but this is only a diary. I go to bed tonight with butterflies in my stomach. Adam 7th of August 1835 I woke up by myself this morning. I didn't know what time it was, so I stood up and began writing my diary. Justine isn't awake yet. Yesterday at the dinner table she said that she had prepared an experiment for today. It bothers my mind. When I first met her she seemed nice and normal, but I didn't know she was that smart. She knows much more about the human anatomy than I do. Amazing. Now there is only one day left until I go back to my own house again. After what yesterday brought, I really don't want to. But inside, I still want to go. I'll see what today brings. Adam.
Hey Simon, I've got some stuff. They might be useful. Here, catch!
Yeah.